Well, hello everyone and good evening. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Um, in my private office on Thursday evening, after the patients are gone, it's kind of nice to uh, to be able to just sit back and just maybe go over a nice case that's uh, coming up on our schedule. This is a screw retained case. Um, patient's uh, case name is Mark, and we are going to do a screw retained case. Working with a lab that is uh, very good at scanning and design, and um, we're working with some new components uh, for a fully contoured zirconia crown. And right here, you can see the driver for the Stroman uh, kit, as as well as the crown that was returned to me from my lab. Now, there's a couple of components that go along with this case. Um, the z number one, the zirconia crown itself, uh, uh, fully contoured and and glazed and ready to go for my uh, final fit check. It does not have the the titanium component yet. Um, it was shipped to me separately to uh, to check against the model. Not only that, but the screw is as well. Now this component is from a company called NT Trading. Um, it's a um, it's a company that that makes a titanium base that's used to support um, these type of uh, crowns. So what the lab does is um, number one they they like this particular one um, over regular abutments, stock abutments, um, because it has the configuration. And let me zoom in on this for the Strauman on one end with the screw and then it has this platform that you can scan continuously and replicate. It has just one anti-locking and see if I can blow this up. It's a little nipple that comes off the the side of it and that prevents the anti-rotation when you go to reseat this to, to cement it in place and so my lab will do this. It's the last thing that they'll do before they actually polish uh, this butt joint, if you will. Okay, so this is the component. We'll look at the side of it. And now I'll bring up the crown so we can look at both together. Sorry if I'm shaking a little bit here. It's been a long day. All right. There it goes, clicks into place like that. Now they cement these two components in together with Panavia. Um, I suppose you can use a, a, any good resin cement, but they like to use Panavia. Um, and so then when that's, uh, that's set, then it's actually placed on the model. Now, some of the time I'll have them cement this when it's attached to the model first. Let's go to the model work. Of course, it's an open tray impression, uh, like most of our impressions are. Mostly all of them are open tray. I pretty much have discontinued closed tray impressions unless it's a very difficult impression to take. And number two, here's the stone model that we have poured. And I'll get into talking about this in a, in a minute. And then, of course, the um, the soft tissue model. Now they had a little fracture here on the model itself, so this distal contact has to be really checked thoroughly. But this is the gum tissue that was used, and it looks like they scanned this. Um, well, it appears to be like they scanned it. What we're trying to do with this case is not to scan the soft tissue that fits into this area but to sc actually scan the hard tissue model. Now I've outlined that with a blue pencil. Let's take a close look. That's, um, uh, my feeling that was that this hard tissue model would be much more accurate than the soft. The problem with this case is I cannot seat this component all the way down into the solid model. That's the problem I have. 
um, because of this lip is in the way. So I'll be talking to my lab. We're going to come up with a solution, hopefully, that will help uh, future cases that will allow this to go all the way down in there. But that lip is uh, it's in the way. And so it's some modification I'm going to do. I'm going to try to do this video in two steps, two segments, so that you can see what we've come up with. Um, I love the idea. I think it's great. I've used it on other cases. But the, um, the, uh, the real issue is the tissue, <laughs> as we always say. And um, I really would like to see this component work well um, with the crown so that it can go in effort effortlessly without blanching the tissue and causing problems. Right now, this butt joint is too sharp and too, too, um, too raised. So it won't seat on that solid model. So they would have to by hand cement this and then trim that lip away. And that is going to be quite time consuming when you go back to this model. So there's got to be a way to maybe eliminate the rim or reduce the rim so that the computer scans in another way or put the two together and then remill this so that it can go back on the solid model and make my life a lot easier. I, I would suspect for you know the audience out there if, if if you've had a full zirconia crown and abutment that's made in one piece would it be strong enough to hold the patient's bite and I think that generation will definitely surpass this technique and uh, make um, the restorative dentist certainly a lot easier in placing these cases. Right now this will blanch the tissue cause some trauma subgingerly, just there's no way I can put this in. Um, all right, so there is a little prelude as to some newer technologies, but uh, certainly some things that have to be addressed. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I hope you all enjoy your evening out there on this uh, Thursday, September the 6th, I believe. Uh, and uh, I'm soon to leave the office and gone tomorrow to teach uh, the FAU pre-dental students in their first class of the hands-on course called Intro to Dentistry. Um, have a good evening. Take care.